Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will teach you how to make single shot effect and color grading like me. Let's have a look on what we making today. First drag your clip and music in the timeline. Here's my files. Fiercely, let's focus on the music only. Then select your audio layer and add markers on beats. This blue line here is the header. Now cut out the part of the clip when you are shooting, press C to use razor tool. Now put the clip on the markers you make on music layer, stretch the clip using Rage Stretch tool you can use it by pressing R. Right click on the clip and go to time interpolation and select optical flow it will make your videos run smoothly and low speed. Now, cut some part of the clip and delete it and then stretch the remaining part to fill the gap. Press enter to render the preview. Now make a new adjustment layer of 6 frames and put a mark in the middle of adjustment layer. Go to effects panel and search transform effect and put it on the adjustment layer. Now turn on the stopwatch button for scale and position with the header in middle of adjustment layer. And change the scale to 110. Go 4 frames back and fro and change the scale to 100. Now go 1 frame back and fro and change the position a little bit. Go to both of the ends of adjustment layer and reset the position. Turn off the use composition shutter angle and change the shutter angle to 360. Now go to effects panel and search glow effect and put it on the adjustment layer. Change the glow radius to 5. Turn on the stopwatch button for the threshold option with the header in the middle of adjustment layer. Go 4 frames go in fro and change the value to 100. Now, go to effects panel and search color correction HLS and put it on the adjustment layer. Turn on the stopwatch button for saturation with header in the middle and change saturation value to minus 80. Go to both ends of the adjustment layer and change saturation value to 0. Now, our adjustment layer is ready for single shot effect. Place the adjustment layer on all markers. You can duplicate it by holding Alt key and dragging it. Now, render the preview and have a look at it. While it's rendering you can give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Now, adjust to starting and ending video with Rate Stretch tool. And don't forget to check optical flow for all the videos. Our video is ready now, let's move on to color grading. For color grading create a new adjustment layer. Now, go to effects and presets and search lumetry color and put it on the adjustment layer. In the effects settings go to creative and browse the look preset I have given in the description. Select the adjustment layer and press T to open opacity of adjustment layer. Change the opacity value to 80%. Now, go to effect and preset and search glow and put it on the adjustment layer. Change the glow radius value to 200 and threshold to 95. It's looking good now. Now go to Lumetri color settings and open vignette settings and change the amount to minus 3 it will darken the edges of the video now, time for a bonus effect. 
create a new adjustment layer. Cut it by holding Ctrl plus Shift plus D key. Go to Effects and Preset and search Glow and put it on the second adjustment layer. Change the color looping to A and B color and change the glow radius value to 90. Change value of threshold to 100 and click stopwatch button with the header in the starting. Select the adjustment layer and press U to view created keyframes. Now, go further in time and change threshold value to 0. Select both of the keyframes and hit F9 to make them ease. You can drag and drop the adjustment layer in the timeline. This effect looks good. You can also change its color by changing the A color. Select the adjustment layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and drag it to another position. Here's the end of the video and don't forget to leave a like on this tutorial. Thank you.